Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to solve a problem involving the conversion from moles to grams. So let's get right to the problem. A bottle of water contains 26.9 moles of water molecules, H2O. How many grams of water are in the bottle? A mole map is a great resource for solving these types of problems. There are many available online, and you can find a printable mole map linked in the description of this video. To convert between moles and grams, we use the molar mass of the substance. Molar mass is on the periodic table, and it's usually right underneath the symbol. In this problem, the substance is water, H2O. There are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom in the compound. Hydrogen has a molar mass of 1, and there are two of them, so we multiply that molar mass by 2, and we get 2 grams per mole. Then oxygen has a molar mass of 16. It's generally not necessary to use all the decimal places on the periodic table. So we'll have 2 grams per mole from the hydrogen and add that to 16 and we get a molar mass of water that's equal to 18 grams per mole. There are really two ways to write molar mass, either 18 grams per 1 mole or 1 mole per 18 grams. The one we use depends on the unit we're starting with in the problem. We use molar mass as a conversion factor that's going to cancel the unit of moles and leave us with unit of grams. A conversion factor is a fraction where you put the unit you want to cancel on the bottom and the new unit is on the top. So the conversion factor we're going to use is going to have grams over mole, 18 grams per one mole. So the math becomes 26.9 moles times 18 over 1, or just 26.9 times 18. We put this into our calculator and we get 484 grams of water. Thanks for watching. You can support the science classroom by liking this video and subscribing to the channel.